Begin by using the selection tool of your choice to select the object you'd like to isolate in your photo. I like to use a quick selection tool and then refine this selection with the lasso tool. Once you're finished making your selection, right click it and select feather. Change the feather radius to 3 pixels so that it makes the edges smoother. Then right click your selection again and select layer via copy. This will put your selection on its own layer. Next, make sure your background layer is selected. Now, while holding down the control key, click on the thumbnail of your selection layer so that we can see our selection again. Then head up to the menu bar and go to Select, Modify, Expand. Set the value to 10 pixels. Next, go to Edit, Fill. Set the contents to Content Aware and hit OK. This will remove your selection from the background layer. Next, right click each of your layers and select Convert to Smart Object. Then go up to Window and select the Timeline option so that you can see the timeline window. Click the Create Video Timeline button. Expand your background layer and click the Timer button next to the Transform property to create your first keyframe. Drag the time head to the end of the clip. Press Ctrl D to deselect your selection so that you'll be able to transform it. Then use the Ctrl T keyboard shortcut to bring up the transform options. Now drag the handles to increase the size of the background. Holding down the shift key while dragging the handles will keep the image's proportions intact. You can also rotate it slightly if you want to animate it that way. Press Enter to confirm the transform which will automatically create a second keyframe. Next, expand your selection layer on the timeline. Position the time head at the start of the clip. Click the Timer button next to Transform to create your first keyframe. Drag the time head to the end of the timeline and press Ctrl key to bring up the transform options again. Use the handles to increase the size of the image and move the image slightly to the side to help create the 3D effect. Then press Enter to create the second keyframe. Now when I play this back, we have a cool looking parallax photo effect. Finally, to render the video, click on the Timeline Options button in the upper right hand corner of your timeline. Select Render Video. In here, the default should work fine, but keep in mind that you probably want H.264 for your format with a high quality preset. Then just hit render when you're done. Alright, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.